You guys have all been asking for it, and now it's finally time. Let's replace the sun with the star Stevenson 218. Stevenson 218 is known as one of the largest, if not the largest star that we even know of. So this should be pretty insane. Okay, let's see what, what we get here. So I got the sun here. We're just gonna go over here. I have no idea really visually how big this is gonna be. It, I think this is gonna be crazy. Okay, so let's see if we can replace this here. Stevenson 218. Let's see just how big is this gonna really be. Let's replace the sun with it right now. Let's go. Oh my God, look at that. Whoa, we're talking, it is. it stretches beyond Saturn. Look at that. You got Uranus, you got Neptune left, that's it. Oh my Lord. Look at the size of this thing. There goes Chiron, goodbye. Uranus is on a straight shot in, let's see. Uh, Uranus is burning and it is just diving straight in here. I mean, that is, that is truly, look at the size of this thing. That's, oh my Lord. All right, let's check out Neptune. Is Neptune alive? Oh my Lord. Cool colors on Neptune, I gotta say that. Is Neptune alive? I don't think so. I think Neptune is is uh, a little bit hot. Yeah, 2000 degrees, That's it's a little warm. <laughs> Whoa, look at this size. I mean, I can't even fathom how big that is. Apparently, it's 1,700 times the radius of our own sun. Just look at this. That's crazy. What could ever live around this system? Unless you put, like, the Earth way, way out. Let's try. Okay, let's take the Earth and we'll put it, like, way out. And we'll see if we can still survive. Okay, the Earth is, like, this is beyond. The Earth is now orbiting which would have been way beyond our current solar systems, um, like the range of our solar system. Like this, the Earth would be orbiting way outside. So let's see. Let's see what's going on on the Earth right now. Are we gonna freeze or what? Yeah, the temperature's dropping. So we gotta bring it in a little closer. Let's get it in there closer. Like here. So it's currently 1100 AUs, which is astronomical units. Um, let's see now. Maybe, maybe it's, maybe we're decent now. Speed time up too. See what's going on now. Are we too close? Are we just are we far enough? Um, average temperature is getting really hot. Okay, we're scorching the earth. We're a little close. Look at how far away the star is. And look at how Earth is just done already. It's already being roasted. Okay, we're stabilizing at 98. So I think let's go over here to composition and check out life. Life likelihood 86%. So not bad. So you know what? We could still survive with a star like Stevenson. We would just have to be way farther out. Like we would have to be beyond our current full solar system. I mean, what if we put all the planets back? You know what I mean? Like let's zoom out. What if we just put all planets back in? Wait, where is, holy Lord, do you ever have to zoom out? Okay, let's put Mercury like here. Venus, we'll go like, it's gotta be outside the earth here, there. Mercury and Venus a little close, a little close the orbits. And then, uh, you know, we'll put Mars over here. Jupiter will stretch out over there. Saturn. That's pretty far here. And I mean, we got ourselves a little solar system here. Let's see if this works. Let's see what happens here. Our brand new Stevenson solar system. Okay, Earth is doing not so bad. Let's check on it. Mercury and Venus are really speeding each other up here. <laughs> They're going quick. They're getting some speed. Um, so look, Earth's not, I mean, it's, yeah, it is. Is it hot? Yes. Is it unlivably hot? Yes. But 86% life, not bad. So, okay. So things are happening. I mean, look, everything's kind of doing its own thing out here. Let's see Jupiter, for example. Is Jupiter uh, doing all right out here? What's going on with Jupiter? Jupiter minus 70, not bad, not bad. I mean, Venus, and let's try to get off of this Earth here. Holy Lord. My, my eyes, I can't see anymore. Okay, let's click on Stevenson. Jeez. Okay, wow. Let's see like a Mercury. Mercury and Venus are definitely going really quick. Earth is not bad. Let's see what's going on with Mars. What have we done to Mars? Okay, Mars is completely ice now. Is that what I did? Oh, look at that. 
Oh, wow. It's like the seasons of Mars. Look at that. The seasons of Mars changes it every every like year that it goes by. Uh, that's amazing. Really cool. Look at that. But when you put Mars by uh, Stevenson 218, I mean, you get quite a wild looking uh, composition there. Life likelihood. I mean, life likelihood, guys. 0.2%. And that's doing nothing. That's not touching the atmosphere. That's doing nothing. Uh, that's not bad. I say we did pretty well. I mean, Venus could it be too much to ask? Venus has obviously got to be like a roasted, scorching. Can we even click on this darn thing? It's going so fast. Oh my lord! Look at Venus. Venus is, yeah, Venus is a little hot. Look at that. A little bit hot. It, it looks like it's lost. It's burnt off the atmosphere that it once had. Yeah, yeah. It's, it is hotter than it originally was, like 700 uh, C. But okay. So this is cool to know. Cool to know that you could take a star that is the biggest star that we basically know of, put in our own planets, and it's basically relatively stable. And what I love about this simulation is basically where Venus and Mercury are is essentially where our solar system stopped. And now if you look, that's the first two planets on this new solar system we've created. And if you think about it, if you zoom all the way out to Neptune, like we are talking a solar system that's probably like 50 times bigger than our current solar system. And everything's kind of living and, and doing its thing. So pretty cool stuff. So, I mean, if you're talking about, is there life elsewhere in the universe? I mean, come on guys. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please uh, give me a uh, like on this. Leave a comment if you want to see any other crazy uh, videos like this, any other stars you have in mind, or any other ideas like this. I'm always down to hear uh, new ideas because it was you guys who gave me the idea for Stevenson 218. So um, if you like what you see, please leave a like, please subscribe, and uh, leave me a comment. And until next time, guys, see you later.